Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for April 27 through to April 30. A strong 6.9 earthquake was felt in Solomon Islands back on April 23. This was followed up by a 6.2 earthquake in Sulawesi, Indonesia the following day. Based on recent solar observations and a new coronal hole formation, I do feel there was a strong likelihood of a 6.9 earthquake potential during this watch period. Here is the latest information from ACE. We get to see significant solar wind speeds now moving from 400 km a second to 600 over the last 4 to 5 hours. That's an indication of a new coronal hole speed stream now being received. Here is the latest information from the Space Weather Prediction Centre. They're giving us a forecast of three days of fairly quiet activities. It is worth noting that they also predicted fairly quiet activities the last three days and we have had some significant earthquakes during this time frame. The KP index is showing minimal activities even though the solar output is being significant with a fair amount of filament eruptions occurring over the last three days. I do feel there was a possibility of a few more of these larger filament eruptions that may produce a K4 or a geomagnetic storm K5 in the coming days. We're now looking at sunspot region 11195. It's currently in the state of decay. This sunspot region has been producing a fair amount of activities the last three to four days. But as these effects wane and solar flare activity begin to decrease, that will give the green light for a significant earthquake. Here is a GOES X-ray flux monitor. It's showing a significant decrease in activity. This is coinciding with sunspot region 11195, also showing a decrease in output. We do have four sunspots on the solar corona now, all producing fairly minimal activities. And if this continues, this will produce an environment suitable for a fairly large earthquake. It is worth noting that sunspot region 11195 produced an M1.8 class solar flare back on April 22nd. Here is the latest coronal hole information from Solon.info. We've got a brand new coronal hole formation situated just around the equator region and it's numbered 446. I will be keeping a close eye on this. There are a few other regions that may play a role in the coming days, but I will be focusing in on this region that should be earth facing in about three days time. Now looking at the SDO composite, we get to see this coronal hole formation now starting to take a little bit more effect as it's moving into the earth facing position in the coming days. We naturally see a significant area above and below and I will be targeting during this watch. We're now looking at the SDO 304 angstrom. We get to see a fairly prominent filament eruption that occurred yesterday and this is fairly high up in the northern polar region and it is a fairly spectacular burst. There are also some filaments yet to eject on the solar corona at around 30 degrees north latitude extending upwards. We do see some filaments eject but there's still a fair amount still left here on the solar corona that may produce a significant solar disturbance in the coming days. There's also a major eruption just in the earth facing position from this region. We're now using solar monitor and the 193 angstrom. We get to see this coronal hole region which stems from 7 degrees north latitude stretching right down across the equator to 9 degrees south latitude. It is a fairly large coronal hole and there are some regions that I will target now. My number one area of concern would be the area of Indonesia as it is fairly symmetric to the coronal hole formation on the solar corona. The most likely region will be the Banda Sea and surrounding regions that may be affected by a significant earthquake during this watch. Kepalumbaba, Indonesia is just on the outer rim as well as the Flora Sea stretching up towards Sulawesi, Indonesia and even as high up as the Malacca Sea. I do feel there is a strong likelihood of an event in one of these regions during this watch. And my second area of concern would be the region of northern Peru or Ecuador. That's my volcano and earthquake watch for today, April 25, 2011. Annotations will be added during and at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.